Hello everyone, welcome back to City Skylands. My name is Ben Pope on Ben Pope Games. Again, I forgot to unpause the game because I keep it paused when I try to get an interview like this for the start. So this is the town of Finkafin. Of course, in real life, it's not a huge big town, but uh, this is a city creation game. So we're going to make it as big as we possibly can. Last time, we... Uh, what the heck did we do last time? We put in more housing and we built a uh, oil industry here to replace our other industry. And of course, I renamed it. I said it was going to be called the Finkafin Oil Company. And uh, I never pressed enter here for it to stick, so the name never stuck. And then we also put in a bus uh, terminal, and um, this can be, you know, I, why not name it? Think of in bus company. Yeah. All right. So we need to build more residential. That's that's a given, no doubt about that. And we're gonna fill it this fill in this area. And then move in over this way. Uh, I need to like make sure I plan these roads correctly too. So um, I don't have a name for this, but I was thinking something you know something clever like the some kind of fields. <laughs> I don't know. We have a big huge hospital, so that's cool. And we're starting to see houses pop up that look like uh, European uh, row houses. Now, I'm not entirely sure if... Because I also sub for some mods for these houses to come in uh, on the Steam Workshop. So it could be that these are houses from there. Or it could be that they're actually houses that the game uh, brought in with the uh, update with the patch so there's only one way to find out really and and that is if I was to remove my um, my mods and see what happens but I don't really want to do that uh, just yet so uh, I'm putting in roads with uh, What's it called? The the trees, the the decorative roads, because these roads are gonna add to our land value, and we do want more land value. Um, let's go straight here. We do want more land value, and we want to be able to. Uh, level up to level five housing, and in fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this stuff in here. Uh, we're gonna have to come in and put all sorts of parks and some commercial. In fact, probably gonna put some commercial back here. These uh, because those areas are, you know, sort of next to the noisy, noisy bits. Uh, that could be houses, that could be house, this could be houses, and it, it pays to have a commercial spot here and there, so we're going to put that spot commercial, and we're going to do, like, oh, I don't know, this spot commercial, and then possibly most of this would be residential, I want to I put in some commercial here. And bucket that in and put this residential spot in. Okay, and we'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. Let's let's do let's see. Let's do Alright, so So it says it in uh, lowers noise pollution, supports low traffic and increases land value. Supports lo low traffic, meaning that there won't be all these houses parked in on the streets um, once once those roads are in. People are 
people are um, sort of. Is it really gonna destroy their houses? Some of their houses looks like have to be replaced. So I'm really sorry about that, guys. Um, but we have to. Oh my. We have to make sure that we get more rent value out of our land. So uh, this is probably the worst thing I could be doing right now to my population. Um, but I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop in a second. And by a second, I mean once I reach the the grid there. Um, Sorry, apologies, sorry, I should have put in these rows to begin with. Our population is dropping because of this. Um, and yeah, I'm I'm pulling my own hair out with my left hand. You just can't see it. Um, right, so all stuff here and Let's do this bottom side because this should be okay. Okay. Let's speed up the the play here and wait for those people to rebuild because population dropped under six thousand because of what I just did. Yeah. Right, uh, so they're gonna need parks and things, and possibly more healthcare. And oh, well, the healthcare is fine. Uh, although I'm not sure how my one cemetery is doing. Um, so why don't we bring in a cemetery out here somewhere? Is that a good spot for a cemetery? Let's find out. We have. Nah, we, we, we could do it. We could do. We could do up here. Up here somewhere. We could do it. We're, we're doing it. We're just extending this road by a bit. And we're gonna go back into healthcare and putting down a cemetery. Like so. Okay. Uh, we're not gonna get crematoriums until 17,000, so we have to kind of pay attention to this. Cemetery deal. Um, fire coverage, kind of okay, but we don't have any fire coverage down here. So I, th I think I'm actually gonna do one of the the Ghostbusters firehouse. Um, it's cheaper and stuff, but it's got one fire engine. And these guys still say they don't have power. I gave them power. What happened? They don't like you. I don't like you at all. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna we're gonna put a fire engine over here. Not the Ghostbusters because the Ghostbusters one is um, well, I don't know, stupid. Not stupid, but just not good enough. It only has one fire engine. Uh, not to be mean or anything, but. Uh, I do want to put that down, obviously, but just one fire engine. They're just we're gonna put that down somewhere where we need to bust ghosts, uh, not, uh, not much of anything else. Uh, so these people have to build more industry here, obviously, but apparently they don't have enough population or, or workers or whatever because they're not building. It's not in demand. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, um, we gotta put in some parks for these houses to grow, so let's let's go to the one by one park. I know there's a couple of one by one spots. Uh, let's see. Did I? Okay. So there's one over there. I know I left one. Possibly some spots I left. I left that. I left somehow. I left this. 
What else did I leave? I want to look for the one by ones. I left some one by ones here. Okay, you can build there. And we're going to go in and put this here. And we're going to put the pretzel stand here. Uh, not like the best spot for a pretzel stand, if you ask me, because it's in the residential area. But you know what? It's a it's a park, and people are gonna be thrilled to be able to uh, just come out and eat some pretzels uh, right up the you know right outside their bedroom window. Pretty much, they can just yell out and say, "Hey, you got any of those warm pretzels ready for me? I'm starving," and they won't have to make. Uh, breakfast in the morning because they could just get pretzels. So, uh, and, and in fact, everybody else is going to be uh, jealous uh, in all the other parts of the city because these couple houses here can just yell out of the window and get pretzels um, quite, quite a good thing to have, if you ask me. Alright, so from here on, we're going to probably have to demolish some houses to put in a few parks. Uh, but I'm not worried about it. I think I have a um, couple of uh, small community pools that I want to put here. And perhaps over... I want to see over here, but... Not really. Um, come on. I know I left another spot. Why is nothing building in this area, huh? Okay. Uh, duh, duh, duh. I could do it there. I don't, I don't see why I, I don't see why not. I mean, it's such an awkward spot anyway. It's actually the best spot for a pool. Because it's not really on the road. So, there we go. Uh, why don't we put more parks on the edge here? Since people didn't build out all the way, we're gonna go and do not the one by one swing. Flower f the flower path is nice, but it might be too big. Yeah. Swing, inner city table, we're not in the inner city. Uh, okay. Mm. I have a three by three park. Now that somebody built their house there, I'm feeling like I was too slow. And um, why don't I put a three by three park next to the old bus company? <coughs> um. We're gonna have to put in a, a public, uh, this, this public soccer field somewhere, because we want our people to be able to practice, practice their their skills, and um, gosh, I should probably buy this spot next time so I can really, so I can really boost up some uh, parks in that area. But I might I might do something like over here. I might put up the public park, the the soccer field, the football field. I will rename it. And uh, with that, people can you know start start their own club here in Finkelpin. They'll be able to uh, rival the greats um, in the province. They'll just be able to you know join the the Dutch league and uh, eventually climb up to to do great things. I think I, I think I want to put in the church. I want to put in the church over here. It's like if I put it here, I'll just take out one house. So let's do that. Okay, uh, our speed has turned down a little bit. Um, there's some people there. That's good. Cool. Uh, it says we need 
commercial, and that's fine. Um, I could put in some commercial. Um, maybe like over here, and part of this, not a whole lot of it. Just like three. Uh, the hospital could have some commercial around it as well, and. Yeah, I might, I might do like a mall area here, in fact, but I'll get to that later. I think that would be a good spot for the mall. Our district is looking okay. Gonna trim this area off of the district. Uh, and houses are dinging and donging. Are they level 5? They're not. These are not dinging and donging yet. Um, but these are. These are the ones dinging and donging. Okay. Some of them are going to be level 4. Here, I think I should go ahead and, and do the roads. Um, do the roads. Okay, the roads. Can I put more... What level houses do we have here? Parks? I have no parks in this area. This is too big. Too big for this area. I I, I do want it uh, in the city. Can we put a lake? <laughs> the Japanese garden, not really. I'm not like obsessed with this church or anything, but it's just a nice looking uh, church. And, you know, maybe this botanical garden would fit. No, it does not. Alright, well, let's find. What is this? Oh, Star Fort. Ah, I could definitely do that somewhere. But it doesn't fit. Uh, let's see, do we have any one by one spots? We can put some swing parks and stuff. We definitely have some one by one spots. Can uh, better these people's lives. I know we have trees here. And um, we, even, we even have like somebody's house. Uh, partly on the highway, if you believe. And I told them, you know, if you watched the last episode, I, I said, you know, you gotta remove the house, but they built it again. So, uh, I think what I'll do is I'll... I'll just remove his... his claim. And possibly just put a tree there. Uh, because... Uh, then... Then they'll have to, like, cars will have to hit the tree before they hit this person's house. So I think, I think that's fair, you know. We took one person's house out, but the others can peacefully survive. Um, I have this... Bird bath. Oh my goodness, where is it? No. There is a sort of like a row parking lot. That would be that would be great for this. Fountain. Playground. Two by two parking lot. No. Meow. Hmm. I'm not gonna find it. When I find it, I'll um I'll put those in. But yeah, why don't we do some more parks for these people? I think I think I was gonna gonna put a park there. So mini park, very nice. 
can definitely put some parks on this side. Uh, why don't we do... Why don't we do a pretzel stand? That's not a pretzel stand. <laughs> Come on. Should I do a pretzel stand? I could do a, a pool. Well, I could do multiple things here. I could do a pool here and I did a pretzel stand and I could put something else. So the pretzel stand... Clickety, clickety, clickety. Um, small community pool. I kind of remembered what it was next to. And then I had like a one by one park here, didn't I? No. At the front. I have a park at the front. Well, why can't we put it here? Oh, I see. It's connected to that. Shoot. Fine. You get a fountain. Can I put a fountain in? No. You you get... You get a tree. Uh, you, you get a... F a few trees. There. Happy? Happy, happy, oh. Um, well, this, this is looking better. They, uh, they still didn't build buildings like I wanted them to. So I'm gonna help them out again until they build the right stuff. Uh, this is kind of, it's kind of lame here too, so. Uh, see, when they build a building, that, then that, that looks nice. So there's a lot of bread and beyonds. <laughs> Uh, back in here, uh, a fire at the juice press. The fire station's so close, they're just over here, and that really helps them out. Alright, so we definitely have a lot more of the level 4 houses. Um, and I think for. I want these guys to have, let's see, they're gonna get some recycling policies, they're gonna get smoke detectors, uh, they gotta have the recreational boost, uh, because that's, that's good, you know, and what else did I want him to do? I want to give him high-tech housing, but that's at 11,000. So then this area is going to be like the, the richer, um, the richer folk, sort of. Uh, so, let's see how our oil industry is doing. It still needs more people, but it's definitely operating pretty good and we're making money. So. Yeah. I'm gonna fix this really quick. Uh, nobody's gonna know what happened because time has stopped at the moment. So, it's kinda like... You just kinda wake up one day and go, whoa. I thought the rows were different in this, in this corner. And then you... You like do a double take and you're like, no, I don't know, I mean, I have pictures of it. It was definitely different in pictures. Uh, and that might, you know, that might, have a, an, that might cause an issue with some people, but the rest of us were like, eh, no, I think it's fine. I don't, I don't see anything new. I don't see anything wrong. Um, of course, I gave that away because I cut the power the whole nation. Um, by nation I mean city. Because um, I'm not paying attention. So, Speaking of power, we could probably put more power down. And the covered parking is here. Right. I don't really... Um, I thought I have parks with this. But I could give them some parking there. 
Meh. I'm not in need of solar power that bad. Okay, so before I end the episode, uh, let's let's put in that let's upgrade that road in um, in the town center here, pretty much. Hopefully, it's not gonna demolish too many buildings. These have been built on a street grid, so that should be fine. But people are happy, happy with with joy to get. Uh, to get this upgrade as you can see And it's gonna take you know It usually takes the city like a few months to do this If not years depends on where you live um, If you're here where I live they you know sometimes take like two or three years to build like uh, A kilometers worth of highway Because this seems to be just really slow. I don't know um but yeah, that's that's sort of the gist of it. It's gonna I'm just gonna hold the mouse button down and go down the uh, the streets. Very efficient. Uh, people are now forced to park their cars all inside their houses uh, in, their, in their yards. And um, that's that's fine with us. We don't really have anything against against that, and we don't really. I mean, we care where they park, and um, we might have to help them out if, if that becomes an issue. And uh, the neat bus stops are, you know, they don't have trees there that are you know, take out the walkway. So this might give us more um, boost towards. Level 5 housing, um, but I think to get, to really get to the next level we need to have possibly another, um, another mode of transportation. And we don't have anything unlocked, I think we're gonna unlock the metro at 7500 and the, the train later. Um, so, where is all the dinging? It's over here. Bro, the city man. It's, it's like yelling at me. I think, I think we will grow the city, and I think it's gonna be over here. Um, and I kind of want it. I don't know how I want it. Um, Forcing people to park. I think that should be my <laughs> my title for today. I'm forcing everyone to park in the parking spot, not on the road. Looks a lot cleaner though, doesn't it? Okay, um, these people can still park on the road. Obviously, that's that's not a problem. They don't care about that. Did I miss anywhere? No. Okay, so, um. Wow, I. Really? How did I leave that there? And this? Right, so let's just put this in. Oh, I need to upgrade this. And this. All right, and we're gonna just put this um, few roads in where we can add more housing. And uh, okay. Because we need we need more housing, obviously. Be, you know they're desperate to move in. People are just crying about it. Um, they're sitting on the highway as we speak, like 
you're just driving up and down the street and they're like oh man i just wish they would just wish they would build more residential areas for us because we we don't have anywhere to go and i'm like sorry and they're like and then i'm like whatever and they're like oh man and then i'm like fine and they're like what and i'm like yep yeah, here you go go ahead and move in and they're like score so um, that's that's my story and i'm sticking to it and we're gonna have this as commercial there you go and possibly over here too and possibly i don't know i don't know if, i don't know if i want that i possibly won't need this uh power line anymore um maybe just from here got it yeah no i don't need i don't need that at all all right cool so that's gonna build up and we will have to attend to it some more uh, but what else can we say we're just gonna go into uh, cinematic mode here and um, I don't know how about like that that'd be good I'll see you guys next time please do share this out with your friends if you enjoyed it um, hopefully you have enjoyed it and do hit the like button and comment let me know what you think I appreciate uh, you watching my content and hopefully this will uh, be something you're gonna keep you'll keep wanting to come back and watch uh, so I will see you next time thank you bye